Hello, people. I'm Javi Kawai. Joining us today is Ariana Escalante. Hi. We're going to look at Father Figures, the Red Band trailer. Let's check this out. There are over 70 million fathers in the U.S. Inventive fathers, athletic, brave. Not everyone knows who their father is. For 40 years, we thought we did. Until today. I wasn't sure who your father was. How does that work? It was the crazy 70s. <laughs> Everybody was high and fucking. So much fucking. Monogamy wasn't exactly a priority. <laughs> I've always wondered where I got my zest for love making. Now we know. Our father has been out there this whole time. So we go. Operation Who's Your Daddy? The top mission is finding dad. Submission is going to be having stone crabs. Mission below that, getting you laid. What? <laughs> Mom actually <laughs> dated Terry Bradshaw? Do you remember a woman named Helen Baxter? Talk about a blast from the past. She had the tightest ass you've ever seen and a set of tits. She really knew how to use them, you know what I mean? She had a mouth. I mean, that tongue almost cost us the Super Bowl. Whew. She's our mom. That's really uncomfortable. This, <laughs> this is it. What are you doing here? We think we're your sons. Excuse me for a minute. There is no fucking way those jackasses are mine yet. He runs hot, just like you. <laughs> Who do you fucking look like me? Give the man a ride. He could easily be a serial killer. We got a nervous Nelly here. Are you a serial killer? I am not. A serial killer. You just emphasize the word serial. Like, I'm a killer, but no, I'm not a no. serial killer. But that was totally unintentional. You're still not saying, I promise I'm not a killer. <laughs> we can give you a ride, but those aren't too tight, are they? Almost kill you, can't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you shot Dad. The universe <laughs> has a tendency to point you in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> Guys, my Negro spider senses is tingling. Train <laughs> <laughs> coming! Go! Father figures. Does the name Helen Baxter ring a bell? It does more than ring a bell. I think I just came in my pants. That's disgusting. Damn, man. That was okay. fuck. She was like a dick whisperer. She's our mom. All we did was cut her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you wanna see someone who can catch? Hit me on a pop! Go! Go! Oh! oh. That's a random hey. clip to include at the end. I know. That's so arbitrary. My favorite part of that trailer was Cat Williams. Mine too. Like, so good. Just everything he had to say was perfect, and his response to the situation felt the most real. Mm -hmm. Like, even just banging the cardboard against his head, I'm like, if you were confronted with this kind of idiot, like, that's exactly <laughs> what you would do. You'd just be so frustrated. But right. I, I liked I liked everything he had to say. He was just the gem of the trailer, and he's, yeah, he, he's probably the primary reason I would go watch this movie. It kind of is par for the chorus. There's a lot of crude, crude humor in here, and it's yeah. like, that's not necessarily my cup of tea. Just to watch Cat Williams, I might go watch the film. Overall, so. I thought it was a really endearing idea. Idea, you know that obviously a lot of people didn't grow up knowing who their dad was or didn't grow up with their dad So I can yeah. like the trailer starts. It's very endearing It's showing you different types of dads yeah. and then it kind of moves more into the like bro road trip yeah. Comedy which also you know has its entertainment quality to it. I don't know I, I think I would go see it. It looks really good The interesting thing is and I've br I mentioned this before I've met a lot of people in life who haven't met their parents or their dad Yeah, they're not you're really ever curious about meeting their biological parent most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah, yeah. a lot of the time, I would uh, say. And so it's always fascinating to me when I see stories like that because in my mind, that's like a natural, easy place to go to where if you have a character who doesn't know who his or her parent is, naturally they'd want to go find that parent. That doesn't match up with reality. For some reason, mm. it, it, it's a compelling and easy place to go to narratively, but in reality, it's just like, it doesn't match up. And I, I, yeah. I'm like, I never understood that. Because I would think if I don't know my parents, my real parents, I'd want to go find them. It comes down to like, is it part of my identity or not, right? So that's yeah. what I found really funny about the trailer is that all of a sudden they're like questioning themselves. Like, where do I get that from? Who am I? Right. What's going on? And the fact, like even the casting, the fact that the two brothers obviously look nothing alike right. whatsoever. So I don't know if that's a sub story is that they find out that they actually have two separate fathers. That wouldn't surprise me at all. But there wasn't necessarily any alluding to that in the trailer. Ed Helms didn't even get credited 
commented on the trailer description, which oh, uh, uh, you know, Eddie. You know, I think I think he deserves a little bit of credit. Yeah, absolutely. J.K. Simmons got credited over him, which makes sense because uh, J.K. Simmons is an Academy Award winner and he's awesome. I watched several seasons of The Office, and so that's where I know Ed Helms from. Yeah, and obviously The Hangover. I like him. He reminds me of my old roommate. I had wait, this, wait, uh, Office version of him or just Ed Helms? Uh, Ed, Hel Ed Helms in general, or the Office version of him. Like uh, I had an old roommate. What happened was. Uh, I remember when I went to go, this was years and years ago, I went to go meet him and he's like, okay, so this is the shared bathroom with the, the straight roommate. I'm like, I didn't even realize there was a gay one. It turned out- Oh, right, you're it like- It turned out my-, my Who do you not include? Yeah, it turned out my roommate, <laughs> who looks like Ed Helms, is super gay. And you live in the same room? We live, we don't, no, 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 no. It was a three oh, bedroom okay. apartment. Oh, okay. I had my own room. <laughs> But I was sharing a bathroom. Like sleeping with one eye open. Yes. No, not at all. I'm not like I'm not scared of that shit. So, um, but yeah, like my my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's good. Continue with the story. That, I was never here. That went to a weird place. I was never, I'm just asking. So you can find more on Ariana Escalante <laughs> on the social media, <laughs> YouTube. She's a TV host and uh, a very very you know equal rights opportunist kind of individual. And a great roommate. <laughs> and a great roommate. Stellar. <laughs> Tell her roommate I would know from years of experience. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Ariana Escalante. Peace out.